Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zaid here, ZSPN. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers versus the LA Clippers tonight uh, in game two of the preseason. I just want to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about the results of tonight's game against the LA Clippers and the expectations uh, moving forward when it comes to more preseason games and the results of certain players who uh, are making a huge argument of why they are on the Los Angeles Lakers and uh, the expectations moving forward when it comes to the regular season. So without further ado, guys, let's just get right into it. So guys, as a result of tonight's game against the LA Clippers in Game 2 of the preseason, um, I just want to give you guys my opinions about what I witnessed in tonight's game and a certain player that really balled out. He was on fire in tonight's game and uh, what this all means moving forward when it comes to certain players and certain roles and just my own personal uh, predictions and my thoughts when it comes to the Lakers and their uh, uh, their rotation wise of what to expect from certain players uh, going into the regular season. Uh, you know, this is the second uh, game of the LA of the of the Lakers beating the LA Clippers. Uh, it just kind of shows you that, you know, there was a certain mindset going into this preseason game. Usually, you know, when it comes to preseasons, I don't really get into it, but this game in particular really showed me what's the expectations when it comes to certain players playing in certain moments when we have certain players like uh, LeBron and Anthony Davis not playing in certain uh, certain games. And, you know, even though this is just preseason, it's just kind of the expectations that certain superstars don't really, uh, you know, play in, in preseasons because we already know how they play on a regular basis so uh, you know LeBron and Anthony Davis did not play out there tonight uh, but you know the Lakers they came to play and one player in particular you know uh, Horton Tucker I mean the guy showed up he balled out I mean with 33 points and I believe he had 10 rebounds and I think he had four assists something like that I mean the guy was on fire. I mean, he really impressed LeBron James at the same time of how great a performance that he that he did out there. I mean, it, it kind of shows that he's making an argument that he wants to be part of more than just the rotation. Um, I can honestly say he can be a huge, great backup behind possibly KCP or maybe LeBron James. I mean, I mentioned it in my last video, and he's making a huge argument when it comes to his ability to be more than just a rotation player. Uh, he wants to be part of the backup roles, and uh, it still remains to be seen if he will be, uh, you know, if his uh, performance in the play in the preseason will give him the eligibility to uh, be inserted in that particular role. We just have to see what Frank Vogel will do and um, just see what will happen next week because I think we will have a better idea of who will be the starters, who will be the backups, and who will be in that sort of rotation when it comes to uh, certain players that will play certain minutes uh, on a regular basis in the uh, in the regular season. Um but when it's all said and done, I mean, you know, Horton Tucker, he came to play. Okay, 33 points in a preseason game. I mean, you know, if he can average that, I mean, that would be great in the regular season. But, uh, you know, it still remains to be seen about that. But I was very impressed of how he played. And I think LeBron James also was impressed by his performance. So great job out there for uh, Horton Tucker. Um uh, who else? Uh, Kyle Kuzma. Uh, you know, he had a great performance out there. I mean, you know, this is Kyle Kuzma we're talking about. Uh, you know, he's still trying to get his bearings in. Uh, you know, he's been shooting very well uh, for these in this particular game. And the last one, not so much. But, you know, he's still getting his bearings in. And, you know, even though nothing will change when it comes to his ability to be the starter, he will be a solid backup. 
possibly behind LeBron uh, and Anthony Davis when it comes to that certain position. But, you know, 20 points, I mean, not bad. I mean, for a guy who, you know, did not perform very well last season for obvious reasons uh you know due to injuries and you know having his role being uh, diminished because of not starting you know a lot so uh it, you know it kind of shows that you know he it, you know had a great opportunity to show his ability to play and you know he he played very well out there. So Kyle Kuzma showed up out there with 20 points. Great job out there. Um, when it comes to the rest of the Lakers squad, I mean, we saw finally uh, Marcus Gasol making his uh, debut <laughs> as a Los Angeles Laker. Uh, you know, he had six points out there, but I was very impressed that he had five assists. And that kind of shows you that he has good court vision when it comes to his ability to pass the ball he's a good playmaker he knows certain moments of certain uh passes to be made when it comes to certain players making a good uh good shots going in i mean he has that vision out there and uh that's something that we have to expect from a guy like uh, mark casaw who you know even though he brings that defensive ability that rebound ability but at the same time you know he brings that court vision which we should always expect from a a big man to do i mean and he can also uh, shoot for you so you know he has all certain capabilities to really help out the los angeles lakers so uh it kind of it's kind of great to see him play. Uh, we saw a glimpse of him, you know, showing his ability out there for the Los Angeles Lakers, and hope we can see that more from him uh, once the regular season uh, comes out. When it comes to, uh, you know, his ability to be a huge contributor to the Los Angeles Lakers alongside LeBron and Anthony Davis, and uh, it kind of shows that he is going to be the starter for the Los Angeles Lakers. But you know, still remains to be seen because you know we have to see if you know. Maybe Montrez Herald, who had a great performance out there tonight against his former team. And, um, you know, I believe he had, I think, uh, f maybe it was 14 or maybe 15, 16 points out there tonight. With, uh, I think he had 10 rebounds. So it kind of shows you that, you know, his ability to, uh, you know, be a scorer, be a good defender. It just shows that he's a... His passion out there tonight was to, uh, you know, focus on the Los Angeles Lakers and focusing on them to win. So, uh, a great performance out there for Montrezl Harold. Uh, we saw a glimpse of uh, Markeith Morris, you know, starting for the Los Angeles Lakers. He had 11 points. Uh, you know, we're going to see more from uh, Markeith Morris uh, when it comes to his ability to be a good defender and at the same time uh, we're probably going to see him play more of the center position playing a little bit of small ball for the Los Angeles Lakers since they're still lacking uh, the, you know the big men uh, center wise uh, even though Montrez Harold and um, Marcus Saul is has the ability to you know, be a huge help to the Lakers when it comes to uh, bigs, but, um, you know, uh, sorry, <laughs> Markeith Morris uh, is that type of guy that is a bit of a similarity that can be a huge contributor to the Los Angeles Lakers when it comes to either playing at the power forward position or possibly a uh, center at times. So uh, 11 points, not bad uh, for um, Markeith Morris. <laughs> but other than that, you know, when it's all said and done, um, you know, it was just a great performance overall when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, uh, even though it is the preseason, I don't really count it. But, you know, we're seeing some glimpse. We're seeing some glimpse of uh, these players who are playing without LeBron and Anthony Davis. And their dominance is to uh, is being very well recognized of how they, they play as a team. And uh, that's something that I'm really looking forward to when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers, when it comes to the regular season, is the team chemistry. Do they play well together? And that's something that we I mean, uh, also looking at when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers and their ability to uh, play well together. And it's been showing that for these past two games now in the preseason. Uh, it still remains to be seen, though, about the possibilities of some of these players, if they are going to either start or going to be a backup. But we have an idea 
of who's going to start and who's going to uh, be the backups. Uh, that's just obvious. Uh, you know, uh, we already know that Anthony Davis and LeBron James are going to be the starters. Uh, it kind of looks like that Marcus Saul is going to be the starter, but you know, uh, Montrezl Harold is making a huge argument for these past two games now in the preseason that um, that he has the ability to start, and uh, uh, it kind of shows that. But you know, at the same time, you know. Uh, Marcus Saul has shown that he has the ability to be a great starter and you know he's been that throughout his career so uh, I won't be surprised if he's going to be the starter for the Los Angeles Lakers um, when it comes to the rest uh, you know like from Kyle Kuzma and uh, uh, Dennis Schroeder uh, and and you know it's kind of hard to say right now because you know uh, Horton Tucker, you know, he's been showing some great, uh, great basketball for these past two games now, and uh, he's making a huge argument. Like I said, that he could be a starter for the Lakers, or he could be uh, a great backup, possibly around behind uh, KCP, possibly or um, you know Wesley Matthews. Uh, it kind of looks like that Wesley Matthews is going to be the backup, but it still remains to be seen about that. But uh, Horton Tucker, he's making a statement. And, you know, he wants to be more than just part of the rotation. He wants to be possibly the backup behind maybe LeBron, maybe uh, KCP. So, you know, he's he's making his presence known <laughs> for the Los Angeles Lakers. So uh, looking forward to that. And uh, it still remains to be seen. I mean, we have until next week. And as we all know, uh, the NBA season, the regular season, will begin on December 22nd. So, uh uh, really looking forward to that, and ironically, they're going to be facing the LA Clippers on that day as well. So, guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, share my videos, and please give me your thoughts about uh, this game against the LA Clippers in Game 2 of the preseason. Uh, who did you like out there that really stepped up their their game, their role out there? Was it Horton Tucker, Kyle Kuzma, maybe it was um, Montrezl Harold? Um did you like the performance of uh, Mark Casal, who is uh, his core vision is something that the Lakers do need when it comes to a big man like him? Or uh, did you guys like the first game of the preseason from uh, Dennis Schroeder or possibly uh, someone else? I mean, I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below about the performances so far, what, we, what we've been seeing from this Lakers team. And do you think there should be some improvements being made? Or do you guys also, I really want to know your thoughts about the potential starting lineups. Uh, who do you guys have that will basically be a huge... Uh, uh, part of the Lakers' uh, success when it comes to the starters, the backups. I mean, I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and guys, please make sure to like all my social media sites, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll leave the links into the, my uh, social media sites in the description of this video so you guys can check out my social media sites. And of course, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there.